in jojoba oil. It's 100% jojoba oil. Jojoba 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 And then I have verse oil. Hey guys. I thought I would show you how to create blends for face and body oil. I run... I was running out of my um, face and body oil a couple of days ago, and I ordered some products so I can create my blend that I use. And I thought I should like to show you guys what I use. Um, I just got them from this brand. Most of them is from Leonardi Le Laboratories. It's his brand. So I was using their brand last, the last time, and I really enjoyed it, and it was great, so I went to buy more from them. So, I will tell you what I got. I got, first, the calendula oil. This calendula oil is, um, it's actually, a. Uh, it's marigold, you know, the marigold flower, so it is that. It is cold pressed and organic. Um, it's actually infused in almond oil and it also con contains vitamin E, a natural vitamin E extract. Yeah. And another thing I bought is jojoba oil. I think everyone knows jojoba oil. It is um, cold pressed virgin jojoba oil. It's 100% jojoba oil. Jojoba 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 jojoba. And then I have rosehip oil. I think everyone knows rosehip oil as well. Um, and this is 100% rosehip oil. And I got arnica oil. Arnica oil is something new that I'm experimenting with. It is basically a, um, it's from the daisy family, so like sunflowers, um, and it is cold pressed organic, and it is also infused in jojoba oil, so it's not like, it's kind of diluted, but it should have some properties that will help with, um, you know, a healthy glowing skin. <laughs> um, so that's what I use, so I, I'm going to be using those four things. But, of course, this one of them is infused in oh, almond, almond, sweet almond oil. So, and, so I guess five things. Five ingredients. Oh, six, because we have a vitamin E extract. That is all. <laughs> so, I'm going to be using, like, just glass bottles, like amber glass bottles. And, you can get a pump, or you can get, like, this one is a spray pump. But you can get the one that's like a, a dropper. Um, you can also recycle old bottles that I used to have. So this this is what I used before. It's like a it's like a inspiration spray. I enjoyed it, but it's finished, and I'm going to reuse it because I like the bottle. It's blue. And so you can basically use old bottles, or you can buy amber bottles. I have a couple here. And also, you can keep some in your wallet, or sorry, in your bag, if you want. So you can buy tiny ones like this. This one's a spray. And you can, like, moisturize your hand or your face, wherever. And you want. And you can also create roll-on. So this is a roll-on. And you can create oil blends. So you can say, when I use a bit of um, ho, like the calendula oil, because I bought a big batch of this because I'm really, I want to check this out. I was going to get sweet almond oil, but this is almond oil anyway, so might as well have calendula on it. <laughs> and I'm going to use this and create a base for, um, for scents. So I have some a few scents that I like here, and I've, I'll, all you do is put a few drops of this scent and create blends that you like, and you can just like roll it on 
Can you smell nice? <laughs> I will show you how to make them. You can actually, basically, um, what I'm going, how I make it is pretty much like, so for a body, so if I use my, um, I, so this is going to be, I'm going to use this for my face. So for my face, I'm going to put, say, um, 50% of this. I think it is a 100 ml bottle. So, no, this is not a 100 ml. This is like, this is like, yeah, this is a 100 ml bottle. So this is a 100 ml bottle. So what I'm going to do is do, I will do 30, no, 50% jojoba oil, 30% rose hip oil and I will do 10% of no 10% of arnic oil and 10% of calendula oil so I would use more jojoba and rose hip for my face that's the oil I would use for my body so for my body I will use mostly calendula oil so I would do say 50% calendula oil and I would do um, 30% arnica oil and 10% jojoba and 10% rose hip. So it's more, it's more on the calendula oil slash almond oil for my body. And I would probably do the same for my, for the one I'm going to use for my hand if I like, like a, like a travel, travel size one. And for my... For my base for this one, I, I'll just use calendula oil because that's what I I got. Which is a lot, a lot of mostly almond oil. Um, use it as a base and put a few drops of the um, the scents that I like. And yeah, that's it. I'm going to um, create some and show you how I do it. Okay, bye. <laughs>
that's all you do. And basically you figure out which is good for your body and for your face. And create your own blends. It's pretty easy and the benefits are really great. Hopefully you enjoy it. Make sure you test everything first on your a little patch on your skin. So to make sure that you don't have any um, effects on it. And these are all used externally. Cool. Hopefully you like it. So hopefully that helps. Um, they're really good. It, I can feel a difference. Um, I use oil like as a base and um, I use creams that I like that's like um, paraben free and and I mix it together and put it on my face. Um, so whatever you, um, creams you use, you can use it with it. You can put it together or you can put the oil first and then put the cream first. So whatever feels right for you. Um, for me, I use the oil and I use a cream. So depending on what creams I like at the current, uh, currently, I just mix it together and just like rub. <laughs> okay. Um, hopefully they inspired you to use more natural oils and, you know, because they're really good. I, I can, I can feel the difference and it's really moisturizing. Okay. I'll talk to you later and have a fun day.